Well, Baxter is undergoing some major construction this summer, and one road that is expanding is Cypress Drive. Baxter had to acquire five homes on Cypress Drive 20 years ago to fulfill the project. Our Anthony Scott has the details on what the city has done with those houses. After looking at the structures, they were structurally sound and we needed to save them. Brad Chapulis did not want to take the easy way out and destroy the homes that were in the way of the city's expansion of Cypress Drive. Last year, they collaborated with Habitat for Humanity to design a plan to move and repurpose the homes. We had a professional moving crew come in. We stripped it and prepared it for that service to come in and be able to punch their beams in, lift it up, and slide it over, and then uh, move it and set it back on new foundation. Been a lot of literally moving parts on this project. The five homes have been moved, with two of them being relocated to Birch Drive, about 800 feet away from Cypress Drive. It's a process that Habitat for Humanity is familiar with. This was our traditional method of our program when we started in 1990. It is a far more challenging project and some, in some ways a slower project. That was kind of a joke. But with several people volunteering daily, Habitat for Humanity is up for the challenge. Habitat for Humanity is moving the homes with some homeowners already in place to move in. It's overwhelming to watch because people are coming in, like I said, while we're at work and I'm not able to see it. And there's young teens to late, you know, my dad's 76 and so it's, it's crazy. The goal is to have the houses up and fully functional by the end of the year. That's what we envisioned when we approached Habitat. Um, Having these five homes that, as I indicated, were of quality and nature, uh, they weren't dilapidated, and putting them back into use and providing them as affordable housing for people who are, are worthy and in need of having a home. But the work is not done yet. We are going to be in need of volunteers. Um, there is no lack of work that we will have between now and the time that these two homes are completed. Reporting from Baxter, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. If you'd like more information on the Cypress Drive project or information on how to volunteer, you can visit this story on our website at lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.